What's up, guys? It's Four Four Lenny back with another banger. Check it out. Today we got the Corvette C8, but it's a one LT. We're not complaining. I believe it's a one LT because of the seats. But let's take a look around and see what we can notice aesthetics wise. So, diving into these wheels right here, I want to say that's a highlighter yellow type of color with the aluminum rim. I like the rims but I don't like the brake caliber. I don't feel like it matches that beautiful C8 red. It just, it's just, it's just not there. Now let's take a look at these headlights. Now you get something out of them. To me at nighttime, I've drove in behind one, in front of one. The front lights look just like a McLaren to me. You can definitely vouch for me when I say it looks like a McLaren. The front is so sharp, so aerodynamic. I just love it. It's the most beautiful, corvette i think they've ever created now i don't care what anybody says about it now we do have the convertible one here so that's just another plus to me you do lose a little bit of the top end it is i believe it adds about a hundred and something pounds to the car but hey to ride in style with this amount of comfort it, it's 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 just a good move you know the comfort comes from just that that gorgeous look and it's just a lot more open than just taking the top off you know it is definitely a little noisy a little noisy when you get to those higher speeds but of course you know it's a corvette so this is the 2020 right here i might title the video 2022 just to get y'all guys to click on it i know i know talk about me later now coming on the interior we got that hidden door unlock button right here it's right under there getting in you got that camel interior with that rectangle steering wheel it is just downright gorgeous now right here you can hide the cup holders or you can click that and have the cup the uh, cup holders accessible right here you got your charger for your for your phone it's a wireless charger so you take your phone you just slide it in there and now your phone's charging now i'm telling you that won't move however it's kind of a weird inconvenient place to put it if you're a bigger guy i'm six foot it's gonna be a little harder to reach over there and get it out now as you can see we got the glass because you went you went with the convertible model so this will help with some of that wind that's you know getting trapped in the car of course looking right here as you can see in the center of the car you get all of your climate controls throughout of the vehicle right here as you can see you got those beautiful toggles to put the car in drive neutral reverse park and manual mode this car is equipped it with the front end lift you have your front end camera you have your mode selector right there toward the right you got these beautiful chrome paddle shifters and they are clicky you got Z mode, which allows you to put it into your performance mode of choice and mix around some of the settings. Coming to the door panel right here, because this one is the convertible, pull this button back, it closes it, and it opens it. These are your window settings right here, your mirror settings right there. This is your emergency door opener in case anything happens because this car is all electric. This is the button to unlock the door right here. This is your lock and your unlock. You have a little tiny cubby space right here. One is to open the front end and the back end. Now I just popped open the front so you guys can take a look in there and see. Sorry. If I'm breathing like I'm out of breath, it's hot as hell. Sun's in my face. I need some water. Now, that's a decent truck room right here. That's a decent front truck room right here. Maybe a carry-on bag is going in. There's no latch to unlock to open it. You hit her down like that. You give her a little firm press. Now she's closed. Now, let's go on to the back end. Now we're gonna do it with the key so you guys can see how easy it is. You hit this twice pops it open now because you went with the convertible you have less space for the less space you already would have had as 
as you can see back here, I want to say decent, definitely not fit in a carry on. Maybe some groceries, a bar of candy, <laughs> just something of that nature. Something slight. It also has the soft lock, so you just pop it down and it closes itself. Now, that's the review of the beautiful Corvette, but I'm going to give you guys a hidden gem if you stay at this room. If you are a bigger guy, and this right here is a little uncomfortable, if you lift this button up, it will make these wider so you can actually sit in a little bit more comfortable. Actually, one more thing. Hit this button right here. You get access to the tiny, tiny, tiny center console with the USB port and a USB Type-C. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks you for watching the video. Both for lending out.